In this video, we will be covering Stanford's two-step authentication, including a brief overview, how to set it up, and also how to use it. Two-step authentication uses two types of authentication to verify your identity. First, your student ID login and password, and second, an authentication code. Two-step authentication can help protect your Stanford account should someone else learn your password by providing a second level of security and protection. Now, let's go take a look at how to enable two-step authentication using SMS text messaging. Before starting the setup process, please make sure you have access to the mobile device on which you will receive your authentication code. You will need this to complete the process. On your laptop or desktop browser, visit the Stanford application accounts application by going to accounts.stanford.edu and select manage. Then select the two-step auth tab and click enable. Review the prerequisites for setting up authentication and click continue. And select SMS text messaging. You will be prompted to enter or verify your mobile phone number including area code. Click Continue. You will receive a six-digit unique authentication code on your mobile device. Enter the code and select Verify Two-Step Authentication. You will receive a message confirming that you have successfully enabled two-step authentication for your account. A couple of things to keep in mind. You will be prompted for two-step authentication once for each device or browser from which you authenticate, and that code is valid for five minutes. A new code is texted by web login each time that you need one. Now, let's go take a look at how two-step authentication works when accessing a Stanford application. In this example, I will be navigating to the Stanford email and calendar application. I am first prompted to enter in my SUNET ID and password. And then the second step of verification is to have an authentication code sent to me as an SMS text message. Enter in the six digit code that you receive on your mobile device and select login. This concludes the overview of two-step authentication, how to set it up, and how to use it.